Hi guys, so yesterday I did a quick video or unboxing of the Crafts Companion Layout Collection um, Today Special. Uh, today I have some, I think, I don't know if it's most of what I ordered, I thought it was, but uh, I don't know, the box seems kind of lacking, but uh, most of the items I ordered from the Craft Day, and so I'll share those with you now. If anything's available, I'll try a link in the description box, those will be affiliate links, and maybe I'll make a small commission if you purchase items those links, so thanks for using those. Um, like I said, I thought there was going to be more in this box, so we'll see. Um, let's see, I pulled these guys out. Oh, okay, well, there's four items, and then I have an auto ship, and then some of the other items I ordered were like studio light type items and things like that, and that usually gets fulfilled through Ecstasy Crafts. It takes a little bit longer. Um, so, let's see what we have. Some of these things I had eyeballed before. This is the present... Oh my goodness tell you I open these things wrong almost every time. <laughs> Get my hand out of the way. Um, this is the Anna Griffin gift easel box. Where did this flower come from? Who knows? Um, yeah, pretty cool. So I thought this was really pretty. Um, I think they have one other easel shape right now. I don't remember what it, what it is. It might be something I already have. Um, but that they brought out for this time around because I have the cornucopia I still have to do a tutorial on but when they have this beautiful thing I, that is so pretty I just looked at it and I thought it looks very simple I'm sure it's going to be really cute when you put it together so I um, was happy to grab this guy I'll give you a quick measurement of some of these things here this one is like uh, ten and a half inches long or so and about five and a half inches wide, so there's some numbers for you. Um, it has different layers. I love that the bow is separate, so you don't have to cut it out and make it its own thing. I do like that um, you have that. Little gift tags, um, some like little plaque looking kind of thing, your stopper, and then of course the die that makes you know all this prettiness, and then the easel card itself. So looking forward to using that. I do also have an auto ship. It's the Gemini, the Crafts Companion. Gemini 2 auto ship so it's like a whole bundle so we'll get to that after we open up these guys this is I'm opening this all crazy guys sorry the oh Madonna and child die set I had seen this before they brought it out a while back but um, I just hadn't picked it up so I just think this is so gorgeous so we have that outer die we have like this beautiful one that does the outer edge and I think it cuts this out, yeah, so it does a uh, frame kind of look. And then you have a matte layer, you have the uh, matte layer also behind the beautiful Madonna and Child. And then you have a little star there, that's so cute. So let's see some of the inspo on this one. Really pretty. Of course, to get these different colors, you're going to do some different things. You're going to be cutting, you know, fussy cutting, snipping away things if you're wanting to look like that. In my opinion, I was looking for something like this where it's just like gold and gorgeous with the layers and I think that looks really lovely. Um, okay, hold on. I was just, I love this aura also behind here, but that is not part of the set. So that is also, or obviously a die or a sticker from something else, right? It looks like it's the sticker. And just really pretty, right? The different inspo that they have there. Sorry guys, when I was done speaking on this, my mom got back from her walk and went to run an errand. So, okay. Next thing, three Victorian slimline concentric frame dies. Now, I don't believe I have these. They might have been part of that one auto ship that I did not get in on. I had no idea it was available and it was just done. So hopefully that's where this came from. Otherwise, I looked it up. I always try to look up, you know, part of the name or like the item number. Sometimes with HSN they might change the item number so uh, I don't see it anywhere in my orders anywhere so hopefully I don't have this already. But this is very pretty so let's look at the images here, the inspo. And again some line um, for Anna Griffin they're usually a bit bigger so I'm looking at like the cutting edge is three and three quarters so that's already bigger than the three and a half I normally do. And usually by like nine-ish but no this one is eight and three quarters so there you go again matte layering a card that's just that size or four by nine right which is um, generally what Anna Griffin does it's just like a bigger slimline you get that outer portion you have this guy here um, I guess you can make this into a shaped card too if you put this on the side edge of your card you know a little bit over 
that'd be nice. And then you have another one here. This does not cut that, so it's not a frame type like where the other one is going to be a frame as soon as you use it. You can use that guy with it if you want that, or just use it as a matte layer. This guy here, again, this doesn't have to be there, and it wouldn't be a frame. It's just really pretty, though. It has cute little areas that are cut away. This looks like it's cut away, but it's not. It's just the embossed area, so cut away is like here and here and here. And let's check that guy out. Yeah, three Victorian Slimline Concentric Frame dies and just beautiful. So of course you're going to get your pretty papers and stickers and fun things like that to deck those out. And then this is... Anna Griffin Holiday Matte Foil Cardstock. Okay, so this is an auto ship, I believe, that just snuck in here, so that's good. Um, this is just paper, and probably by now they're offering it, I was going to say showing it, but offering it on HSN because this auto ship in particular, they've been really quick to put it out, you know, it's paper. So. I enjoy just receiving it without thinking about it, but then again I end up ordering another one whenever it's on the site, so like the harvest or like the autumn kind of flavor. I still have the papers sitting right here in front of me, so I'm just using them as I make tutorials and things, they're just right here for the season, you know? So this is the uh, luxury matte foil for holiday. So let me bring out a stack of these. So what happens here is... You have 36 6 by 8 you have 36 4 and a quarter by 9 and a quarter so like a slimline type, and then you're, you know, 5 by 7 but a little bigger than that. Look how pretty that is. I mean, look at the way it reflects on the camera. I love it. Oh, don't want to scratch that. It is single-sided. So we have our beautiful red. We have that beautiful icy blue. A silver, which is really nice, and I don't think it's silver, it's just silver, right? So last time I thought it was silver and it was light, light blue, uh, but this is definitely silver. This is more of a pinky red, where you see this one's like a deeper, like, crimson, this is more like candy apple red. So pretty, almost like a fuchsia, I mean, which is weird, right? Fuchsia red, but that's so pretty. And then the gold, and this one is deeper than the regular gold that we get from um, Anna. I don't know if I have a sample of that. Oh, right here. You know, I always have a little something around me, so... This is, and it's also a little bit shinier. Um, well, at least that's what it looks like. So this is your matte foil, but also more brown, as you can see there. And then that beautiful green. These are really nice colors. You know, you have the icy, you have the more typical. So that's very pretty. Um, okay. So let me put these to the side, but I can just pop them up here. This has my address all over it, so let me literally in every side of this thing. So this was also sent by itself. It's the auto ship, like I mentioned, the Gemini 2 auto ship. And let's see what it is. It looks Christmassy, but yes, this is Winter Wishes Collection. You can see pumpkins on there, so obviously it's not just Christmas. You know, pumpkin, winter pumpkins. <laughs> but that's really pretty. Uh, the colors are super unexpected. They're more, again, like fall, but also Christmassy. So let's see what we have here, guys. It's interesting. And I had mentioned, I don't know if it was in this video or my last video, that um, they do have the Gemini 2 again with the auto ship option. And I'm assuming it's the same auto ship. I don't see what else they would have done. But, you know, you have to get the machine <laughs> to get on the auto ship. So that's... Uh, that might be a deal breaker, right? But you guys also have that little scan code, QR code, and you can scan it if you would like and see what kinds of things they might offer as far as videos and maybe you have something in your stash that will work for you, you know? I don't know how you sign in. I haven't ever tried to sign in. You know how it was like, oh, a free lifetime or of something or other. I haven't done that at all. Um, so. Let's see here. Home for Christmas. Metal die. So you have your little truck. It has some embossed areas. It's super cute. It has little window cutouts and other cutout areas there that are um, detail. A bummer that a lot of these packagings, they don't show any way to any kind of inspo. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, the inspo is the videos, I guess. These are really cute sprigs. I love this. Winter foliage. Foliage, foliage, I don't know. Um, there you go with the little pines and other cute things. I love sprigs, and these are really different. Very cute. Um, the word you, I think. No. 
what does it say here? Stay cozy. Okay, so it's the word cozy. And then it has comfy and like cozy. Let's get cozy, warm and cozy. And then cozy nights, stay cozy. That's what it is. So it comes with stamps, acrylic stamps. We have a cute little set of like a sled and um, little mittens. That is so cute. I love the little um, embossed area of that. And then you have your little sled there. And I mean little. These things are not the biggest. The biggest is 2.4 by 1.2. Lantern, it looks like. It's just called Light Up. And there's the lantern itself, the stamp, and then you have the die for it. Very cute. Some little trees, fir tree duo. So again, they have some embossed areas here. And they're just, you know, basic tree. Uh, 1.9 by 3.1 on the largest one. We have a stencil. This is cool. Wood stencil, wood grain. Love that. That'll be really fun to run through with like a rubber embossing mat to get that look on your paper or just, you know, to actually use that as a stencil. Uh, looks like it's four by six. Pumpkin patch. It looks like we have a wheelbarrow and some pumpkins. So there's that. And then there is the wheelbarrow and your pumpkins. And another stencil. This is very pretty. Cable knit. That's really nice. It would look to me looks more like a floral, but it's called cable knit. Very cute. And this one is called perfectly plaid. Really cute embossing folder. Looks like a standard embossing folder. Again, four by six. Yeah, that's what they have going on. You know what I didn't realize? These don't come with um, card bases. I never really thought about that. But these things are good for four by six, so there you go. Really cute. I like the color on that, you know, that little sagey green. Cuddle up. Um, it looks like it has a fireplace and then like a little stocking, some stars, and like a little bow. And yep, sure enough, there's your fireplace uh, stamp. And so that's your focal point. And then I guess you can decorate with these things. These don't have stamps or like anything like that, so it's just... You're just going to work with them and whatever detail they have on them, the dies themselves. Seasons Greetings stamp set. This is really pretty. Thankful and blessed. Sending you warm winter wishes. So they're kind of mixing again the fall and the um, holiday. I mean, it's a little bit of fall, right? Very little, like just maybe one, two of these things. And three. Hello fall. There you go. And then everything else is very holiday. The deer and like beautiful spray there. The linen cardstock, which is very pretty, uh, like this color here. Again, the linen has the texture on the one side and not so much on the other, but still some. So it looks like three colors, that beautiful green, an orange, and a burgundy, which I guess could be a holiday color. It's very deep, um, more of a cranberry, I guess, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. And then we'll see these guys, because this is going to be very interesting, being wintry and fall and how you loop those together. Um, oh, these are double-sided papers. I just want to see if there's two of each. Okay, so let's check this out. We have that plaid, beautiful, like those little berries. We have some pumpkins down here. On the other side, it's just the plaid. And this one, again, well, not again, but just really beautiful. Those colors that really pop. I love the reddish that they have in here paired with that dark, deeper burgundy. I'm sure it'll look nice, but I wish the paper would, honestly would have been more like this red, but that's okay. They're trying to bridge that gap of fall and winter, I guess. Um, beautiful. Look at that wood. That's really pretty. Um, you got your pine trees and you have your pumpkins, you guys. I don't know. Maybe in some necks of the wood. There we go. Um, cute. That's like an Argyle or Fair Isle. I don't know if you can see that pattern. Really cool. Fair Isle is what I was looking for. This one again, really gorgeous. I like, see like the little greenery that's kind of like flowing, floating around there. We have pine cones and berries. And this side it's more just like the background that was on there. Oh. And then this one has your cranberries and your beautiful like white flowers, maybe some poinsettias. A lot going on. I mean, there's just with the splatters and everything. Really pretty. And here we have a little sled and just poinsettias and, you know, a lot of the similar kind of things that we've seen in the other papers. Look at this the little bird on the little lantern. It looks like that little Ikea lantern. <laughs> uh, everybody has one, I'm sure, if you have an Ikea near you. Um, cute little pine cones, the pine trees and on the back side. Oh, sorry, the back side of the other one was the wood pattern in this one. Is this, that wood pattern has a feral pattern on it, though, on that one with the, like a whitewash. This is really cute. I love that the ornaments have like that little feral knitting in them. And then again, this is just the plaid that's basically the background of the paper, but without the rest of the decoration. Here we have some beautiful plaids, and then we have the little stockings and hearts and everything. And on this side, again, just the paper or just the pattern that's in the background. 
And here we have uh, the pumpkins again in the um, gourds and things. You know what? Maybe there are some places where gourds grow deep into winter. I don't know. Maybe it's around here. <laughs> yeah, I know we don't get snow <laughs> uh, too often or at all. And then there's the pattern there. And then here we have this beautiful green feral knit and kind of in the background with the beautiful ornaments that are very classic looking really lovely and then that one just has the paper you know just the pattern sorry all tongue-tied for some reason this is so cute so the ornaments you know they might be like metal ornaments or something like that but they remind me of those cookies that you can make the stained glass cookies or like those little dough ornaments oh, we need to do that i don't think i've done that with the kids before the dough ornaments that you make with like the salt and flour and whatever it is starch or something i can't remember Water? I don't know. <laughs> Something we used to do back in the 80s. And then you have the little wood slats on the back on that one. Super cute. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, it's pretty. Kind of interesting the way they paired those things together. But uh, there it is. I have not really seen any of these things available on HS, and I think they bought the butterfly set out but it seems like they're keeping it really close to whoever ordered it was got on the auto ship is what you're getting you know all right guys well thanks for watching i will have uh the links in the description box and let me know yeah what all you picked up i've been hearing from you guys uh with some of your um craft day uh purchases but uh i'm always curious to know thanks for watching guys i'll see you at the next one bye now